Hey guys, okay, so we are going to be doing business now, and it's a revision exercise on the weeks one to nine, so that we can prep for our assessments on business, um, and we are just going to do a little bit about everything that we covered. Okay, so listen carefully, and I will be explaining nicely to you guys, and... If you have any questions, you can always ask me on Edmodo and I will be able to give you any answers that you are unsure about. All right, let's get started. So on the second slide, you will be able to see that what is business? A business is an organization where people work together. In a business, people work to make and sell products or services. A business can earn a profit for the profits and services it offers and the word business comes from the word busy, which means doing things. Okay, so in a nutshell, guys, a business is a place where you can make things or offer things and then you charge an amount for it. So let me give you a couple examples. If you go with your mom or your daddy to the shops, that is known as a business. Let's say uh, let's we're going to Woolworths. And we're going to buy some groceries. That is a business. Woolworths is a business. Why? Because they are selling you goods. Goods as in the groceries. Okay. And they're offering you the goods which you give them money for. That is a business. All right. So if we carry on, we will be able to see that there are two different types of concepts that we should cover. So that we understand business a little bit better. An income and an expense. Incomes is money that is coming into the business. That is why I made it green, because green is go. Green is good. Okay. So money coming into the business. It's money received, especially on a regular basis for work or through investments. Okay. So some examples of an income relating to you guys as kids, because you guys obviously don't have businesses at your age. Um, so some examples would be, let's say you have a deal with your mommy and daddy where if you brush your teeth, mommy gives you five rand. Or if you say, I think, like, thank you, sorry, uh, or you clean your room and you get 10 rand for that. That's money coming to you. So it is an income. Now, for an example, with an income for a business is, we went to Woolworths and we bought some groceries. The money we gave the teller is the income to the business. All right. One last thing we need to cover on this page is an expense. Expense is red and it has a minus sign, which means that it is money going out of the business. An expense is the cost of operations that a company incurs to generate revenue. So to put it in simpler terms for you guys, it would be... If you take the money that you get and you go and buy sweeties with it, now money is going out. You have less money than what you had. Or, for example, if you are caught fighting with your brothers or sisters or your friends at school and mommy says, listen, because you did that, give me five rand from your pocket money because, you know, that wasn't right. So that's an expense. Or if you tell some lies, that's also not a good thing. All right. In relation to Woolworths, um, their expenses are when they buy their products in the shop, they have to pay for it from a wholesaler. So that is why they pay for it and then we give them the money back. That is an expense for them. Okay. All right. Let's go on to the next slide. Types of businesses. Okay. A corporation, a partnership and a sole proprietor. A corporation, which is on the left in the color red, its definition is, a corporation is an organization, usually a group of people or a company. An example of this would be the example of Apple Computer. So if mommy or daddy has an iPhone, where the phone gets made is the, the brand is Apple, so that they have a massive corporation where the phones get made. The same with Google, when you guys search on Google to get to YouTube, that's also a corporation. All right, so the next one, partnership, which is the one in the middle in pink. It's a legal form of business operation between two or more individuals who share management and profits. One example of a partnership business 
is the relation between Red Bull and GoPro. Okay, so a partnership is between two people or more, can be, and they work together towards a common goal. And the example I gave you is Red Bull, which is an energy drink, and GoPro, which is the little camera that the adventurers use when they go through the woods or they skydive. And they work together and they have adverts together. Okay, and the last one is a sole proprietor. A sole proprietor, also known as a sole trader, is an individual entrepreneurship or proprietorship. It is a type of enterprise that is owned and run by one person. So this is an easy one to remember. A sole proprietor is someone who owns a business by him or herself. So it's one person. All right. On the next slide, there's just two definitions that I'd like you guys to remember. And it is purpose, which is your business purpose is the reason you are formed. Your company boiled down to a single sentence. For example, this business was started to make money by providing a service. So for example, let's say you wanted to start a lemonade business. Your purpose of that lemonade business would be to make lemonade and to sell it to customers to make money. That is your purpose. Okay. The next one is an idea. A business idea is a concept that can be used for financial gain. An example of this is I want to start a business that sells sweets. So before anything, let's say you're eating your breakfast one morning and you're having some water and you think to yourself, oh, you know what would be really nice would be some lemonade. And that's when you have the idea that you want to start this lemonade business. Let's talk about some business locations. Okay, we get three different types of ones that we are going to talk about now. There's a lot of different other ones. But the three main ones that we should focus on is an office, a factory and a house. So this is basically where your business can run from. So office, which is on the left in green, is businesses can run from offices, which are small buildings solely for the purpose of the business. No one stays there. And only runs business hours. Example, small businesses. So an example of this, guys, is think about your school. Your school has an office. Okay, where Principal Tanya and um, Teacher Esme sit. That is the school office. Okay. The next one could be the factory. Let's talk about that one. It's in red. Businesses can run from factories, which are big buildings, solely for the purpose of the business. Many workers are employed and have different departments. Example, a factory to manufacture cell phones. So guys, think about this. Your latest cell phone or your latest tablet. That is made in a very, very, very big factory where there are lots and lots of workers and there's different workers for different things. Okay, and the last one is a house. You know that if it's a very small business, then you run it from the house, which means that you don't have enough money yet to get an office but you're still making money because you're running from the house. Okay, so businesses can run from a house. Sometimes they have people living there and working there. An example would be like a nursery school or a hairdresser. I'm sure if mommy takes you to the hairdresser sometimes, um, the lady's running from her house sometimes and they still stay there and whatnot. So there are diff different places and locations for businesses. Let's talk about business people. A business person is someone who works in a business or commerce, especially at an executive level. Okay, you get two different types that I would like you guys to remember. It is an employer and an employee. Okay, notice the difference in spelling. An employer, which is in green, and the reason why I'm saying that is so that you know that it's an ER at the end, is the owner of the business or known as the boss. And that's why I have boss baby there. And an employee, which has the double E at the end, listen to how I'm saying it, employee is people who work for the boss of the business and get paid by, by the employer. All right. So, for example, if mommy and daddy are the boss of the company, then they pay their employees. Or if they have a boss, and then they are the employee. Okay. Let's talk about business ethics. Okay, that's a weird word, ethics. Um, 
but it is something that is spoken quite a bit about in business. And in a nutshell, it refers to what is right and what is wrong. It's how business decisions are made and how people are treated in the business. Okay, there are different forms of ethics, which is, I would say it's what your gut tells you. So let's give a few examples here. Let's say you notice one day that your your boss is not treating another employee nicely. So, and then you say to yourself, you know what, that's bad business ethics because you need to be treated fairly. That is a type of business ethics. Okay, it's what's right and what is wrong. Everyone deserves to be equal and treated fairly. Everyone deserves to be told the truth. That is what is known as an ethic. Let's talk about speaking up. Okay, so if I say to you, speak up, you already automatically think, oh, I need to speak up. Okay, speak up for what is right. And this goes hand in hand with the ethics, which is what we just spoke about. Speak up, make some noise, tell the person what they're doing wrong. Tell them why it's unfair. Tell them why you don't trust them. Okay, so if you see something that is wrong in your workplace, then you must speak up and tell your boss. If you see that someone's being treated unfairly, then you must tell your boss or tell management. Okay, just like if you are, your friend is being ugly to you in class, then you tell the teacher. It's the same thing. So speak up. What is a budget? A budget is a financial plan for the future concerning the revenues and costs of a business. We touched a little bit about this um, in the beginning of the year and we will touch uh, on it again further on in the year. But there's two main topics or concepts that you should get your mind around. It is incomes and expenses which we already spoke about earlier and how you get a profit okay so like i said income is green it's good you're getting money in like brushing your teeth the good manners cleaning your room and expenses is red which means money is going out like if you tell a lie or you hurt your friend or you buy some sweeties and the profit is the income minus your expenses will give you how much money you made. Okay, how much money you are left with. So for example, if mommy gives you money for behaving, do your, doing your homework, all of that, and you end up with 50 rand. Okay? But you buy all these sweeties and you actually, you know, you had a fight with your sister and... Mommy says to you, no, no, you've got to give me 30 rand back. So then you take the 50 rand and you minus the 30 rand and you're only left with 20 rand. That is known as your profit. Okay. Very last slide for the day is record keeping. Good record keeping can help you find the information you need. It promotes the creation of full and accurate records in the first place. It also involves storing and managing records appropriately so that you, the information will be available to you when you need it. So this is like storage files or little files on your computer so that you can find it. A good way of thinking about this, guys, is if you're on your tablet or your laptop, you have different folders and th inside those folders have your activities or your games why do you have it in a folder? Because you are record keeping it. You are keeping it there so that you can see it. You can find it quickly. You know exactly where it is. In business, it's the same thing. If you want to, if someone pays you something, or if you need to pay someone something, then you have different files for it so that you remember, oh, this person paid me this, and I paid that person something. It is called record keeping. Okay. Okay.